Welcome back to another video. Today we have got Supreme Frazetta. We've also got the entire list as well as the prices. Prices are good, prices are bad. I'm about to have a tear at that plate, but I'm gonna take a look at all the stuff I get. I'm gonna react to the entire look but this time. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna give my thoughts and opinions, my detailed thoughts and opinions this time. Yeah, let's check it out. By the way, guys, if you're not subscribed already, leave a subscription because why not? I don't know why I said that. It's not like you're paying for it. I might say subscription, subscribe to the channel if you are interested in Supreme content and more. I do have plans for other content, so bear with me. Supreme is first, Supreme is priority. Another thing is, it is not dropping tomorrow because it's Thanksgiving, apparently in America, you get the day off. So it's been moved to Friday at 4 p.m. for us in the UK. So yes, the live cop will be on Friday. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And let's get on to the- All right, we are now here back on Supreme Community with the entire list that's dropping this Friday. Friday. and due to it being you know thanksgiving it is this friday but yeah crazy enough the top rated item is the grinch and i'm not surprised the grinch is a very very cool item and especially at that price as we can see we have got the three foot grinch with the word supreme is holding a box logo it's the old it's the old style of the grinch you know the knee surgery and all that cool thing i think like the whole meme is uh being avoided but a lot of people that like the meme are like 12 years old so they don't have the money for this so i don't know if this will resell but the retails are not too bad 98 dollars 88 pounds 98 euros it ain't too bad of a price although it is only a 36 inch blur mode with an led light and a custom logo application so do what you will i'm probably not going to go for this just because there's a too much stuff that i need priority on this drop so yeah if you are going for the grinch best of luck on friday all right one of the unseen tees that we got um now if you didn't know already there were two supposedly unseen tees which are obviously being revealed now supreme dropped theirs on their instagram stories they dropped all the colorways but this one is called the destruction tee and i gotta say i need this there's another two items that i now need in this frazetta collaboration although it might be minus in one of them just because of the price but that's not too bad but yeah the teaser is fire. I think I much prefer the black one just because the white, the burgundy and the moss is a bit eh, in my opinion. The burgundy has the white font. The white is, I think it's black. And I just think the black one just works well with the red font. And I really like this font. I'm a, I'm a big fan of old school style font. So yeah, with this is really fucking cool. But yeah, that is definitely one of the t-shirts I will definitely be going for this week anyway we got the grinch box logo new era needs to be inverted which is not surprising we are near christmas and it is christmas season so i don't think these will resell it's more of like a personal it's, it's a holiday it's a holiday hat so it's one of those like seasonal items that you would only need to wear once cool thing is there's no like 2024 in it so it doesn't feel like an old hat it could be used many times over the years although who really cares i don't really care about the word saying 2024 i don't know if you any of you guys care about that anyway but supreme grinch it's cool i like all the colorways i'm just not into a um, new new era should i say i don't really wear hats as much as i used to so yes we got <laughs> this is such a weird item the balaclava with a bogo st stuck on the forehead it just looks so goofy i don't understand the reason why supreme would make something like this it's it just screams like you're just going to get shot in the head the big tag on your forehead is the box logo so yeah if you see that box logo and someone's wearing this well you know what to do anyway these just look so like like you, you're doing nefarious things and i'm not that one that person so, and whoever's paying 56 to do wear this is um you know something else anyway supreme mitchell list they've actually finally dropping something and um, this jacket which should have been dropped with the ncaa collaboration they probably just had it delayed we have the three colorways and the prices are actually kind of terrible 348 dollars 298 pound i probably wouldn't go for this i think the other ncaa collaborations were way better in my opinion so and i have the georgetown jacket i did sell the um the miami one that sold really quick oh and another thing i just got strangely enough these got delayed so much i bought one of every hat so yeah the hats are all here but yeah looking at this mitchell and s collaboration i'm not a much big fan of these jackets i think there's just way better jackets but the more unique one would be the camo one with the blue font on the back but yeah the retail price is a lot more better stuff to go for in my opinion then we got another one wow we got a t-shirt we got the frazetta t-shirt with i think this one is i'm not sure what character this is a death dealer because there's like different names there's woman with scythe death dealer i think this is the death dealer i'm not really sure but this one is really cool i like how it's on the back of the print and not on the front i won't really like it this on the front just because the other one's on the front i just think this is way better 
with it being on the back it's quite a large print i must say i think there's like black a white and a brown one the brown one's pretty nice with the white font and the frazetta but i do like the white one so i'm probably going to be going for a white one and a black t-shirt of the other one the destruction tee so those are the two tees that i'm going to be trying to go for as a personal i will be using a bot it's, it's going to be very hard to try and do this manually even though i just never manual anyway so if you are interested a little a little um sponsor guys sponsored by me if you are interested in anything frank reserve wise and you are from the uk and you want to get something but you don't know if you might copy it on friday let me know i'll try and run you a, a size it will be on my card not your card because i do not like the whole idea of you know doing detailed stuff at the moment but yeah if i manage to hit something for you i'll let you guys know and yeah you just pay the difference on a discounted fee not the actual market fee. It, it'll be like less than market oh, i'll just try and give you a good deal but yeah we got the frazetta cam cards next now i must say at first i wasn't too interested and this was like early on before week one you know the week's here now and i i need these hats i think this is cool i love the one with the black box logo with the guy slamming his axe up I think it's the same guy on the horse as well. So yeah, I think I definitely need both of these in the collection. I think they're just really nice. The retails are not too bad as well. It's been £56, although for a hat, it's pretty expensive, but you know. I'm trying to get both of these. Um, Color-wise, I have no idea. Is it going to be black and red or is it going to be blue and red? Are they going to be calling it via the, the sketch name? I have no idea how Supreme's going to do anything on, on Friday. It's going to be very, very, very stressful in my opinion. Next up, we've got the Frazetta Zipper Puddy Twitcher. And I want to say, I've talked about this so many times. I need this hoodie. I need this hoodie. It's giving me Marjola vibes because I, I took an L on the Marjola one. Mainly because I was pretty pretty new to buying and I kind of messed everything. And also, I think Capsalvo just died when Marjola dropped. So yeah, I was kind of relying on one particular thing and everything just died. So yeah, I really hope it's not going to die this week. It probably will though. So I need backups. So I need this though. And he's an old size large in the black. I'm not really a big fan of the blue one, although we'll say it's very nice. I just prefer the black one. Need it, size large, give me it. Anyway, we got the trucker jacket and people in the Discord when I was talking and um, we were discussing price-wise for this particular jacket, people were thinking it's gonna be like a $400 jacket. Um, I just said, hell no, that's not gonna be the case because a regular trucker jacket was like 200 quid. Obviously you got the share line effect to it. And then obviously you got the Frazetta tax but Rosetta tax shouldn't have been that much maybe 50 60 quid more the other Sherilyn jacket which i believe which had the word supreme on the back you could replace the hood and stuff that was only like over 200 quid so with this price being 278 i was pretty much bang on i said between 250 and 300 so yeah in the mid stage of 250 to 300 i think that's a good retail price i'm not sure about for you guys in america because you obviously get taxes and all that crap this will make it free shipping if you are only going for this item so that's really good and yeah i'm definitely going for a few of these if i could try and get it i just think this could be very limited very nice i know some people in the group are actually needing these this is a really nice jacket i don't even know what size to go for i think it's all gonna be on to the next item which is another one of my favorites another personal that i need we got the frazetta soccer jersey this is on a, a really good retail of a 110 118 dollars that's that's a really really good price i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie um resale is gonna be even more expensive but yeah this is the one that i want um, I especially like it because the back of this one has the white font for Supreme with the black stroke. Now the other one, I don't know if they're not showing it on this one, which they haven't shown on. There's like a couple of pictures on Supreme, but this one has black with a white font, not white font, a white stroke. I just personally don't like that one because you can't really see the word Supreme in comparison to like this one. If you, you can just visualize it if you can, just, just think of it as black with a white stripe. It's a sick, it's a sick soccer jersey. I need this. I know it's repeated, but who really cares? I mean, I don't really care it's nice i need it extra large definitely going for that definitely gonna be high but yeah i'll be going for multiple jerseys so hopefully we get, might get a couple but it really de it depends on the colors if i can know what the colorways are ahead of time it's gonna be so much easier because the keywords are gonna determine whether or not we hit or not so on to the next item another personal my god i think i'm buying everything from presenter this anyway we got the shorts now i must say i don't know why they did this this is just this is just not it it's literally the same size it's been reflected on itself and she looks like she's giving the guac guac you get what i mean she's starting to look like a duck i don't know why they did that it needs to be somewhere else saying maybe like similar to this the deaf dealer i think it's called there's one with scythe and then deaf dealer so yeah, I think this is the better location. And I need these pants. I don't know how soccer jet soccer pants work or shorts, should we say. I have a feeling that it's gonna be really, really difficult in terms of sizing. I don't know if Supreme gonna be massive. If I go for large, it might be too small. If I go extra large, that might be too big. So yeah. 
is very, um, and we're struggling on tempers size, but the price is not too bad. 98 quid. I'm I'm fine with that. Then we've got the Frazilla trap jacket. I'm not much. I'm not a big fan of this jacket. I'm sure most people. I'm sure some people will want this jacket. I think it's probably one of the easier items from the collaboration to go for. I just personally won't be going for it. 178, 198 for the retail is not too. I like it. Oh, we're finally dropping the leather zip cardigan which i must say i don't know why anyone would go for this to be fair it's a nice item piece as a cardigan but the price tag is just not nice 368 338 nah it's not right in my opinion i just don't like it it's too plain looking they should have done a bit more to not it anyway this is the one item that i'm really pissed about okay guys these plates are so nice but i don't understand these price tags 258 pound 298 dollars for two plates is it because it's made in italy did they revive my guy Frank from the dead? Did they make him physically paint these plates in order for it to be this much? Guys, I, I really hope it's an error, but I don't think it is. I did not think plates would be this. I'm kind of like, I'm struggling to think what to do strategy wise because I know some accessories can go under retail, but this collaboration is still decent enough. It depends on like how much they, they make of this with that price. Are they going to go under retail on StockX? Am I, be, am I going to be able to like get a little discount because I still need these plates, but I don't want to spend 258. I think, I think I'm going to, I'm going to fall for like the whole hype and I'm probably just going to buy one we might buy one if it's still in stock after a week that'll be kind of annoying i might just, obviously you could just return the place if it goes cheaper on StockX. so yeah anyway we got the short sleeve pocket tee i like the little uh, it's, not, it's not the script one i thought it was the script one okay it's just a pocket tee with the word supreme on it 54 pound i'm just gonna say no to that and we've got the frazetta loose jit fiends jit jit <coughs> loose fit jeans and i didn't mention in my other video i feel like these are quite under the radar i still think these will do well especially at that price tag with the hdr pants they did a lot on the resale market i know the hdr pants are more wearable compared to these this is kind of outlandish colors and stuff but i still think these are pretty cool i don't know if they'll do the same similar resale as hdr pants but they are pretty nice in my opinion the trap pants i'm not going to go through that because it's similar to the track it 158 is kind of expensive in the fence and we've got this printed arc hooded sweatshirt which is it's, it's a print hoodie i don't think people will be interested in it it's unfortunate because it's it's been put in a, a terrible time for as is is hype and we don't care about this even at 148 backstripe sweater it's all right i like it uh, i'm not much of a sweater guy it looks like it's itchy yeah it looks like an itchy sweater hilled wool blend 138 158 dollars ain't too bad guys if you are interested in that and finally i really like this all right i'm just gonna put my hands up in the air i actually really like this i don't know why it's do it's so downvoted i think it's just because it's got the fair on the top this is something that i would actually wear especially in that red and white colorway i like the white one i do like my flannels but i do think this fair tr this fair trim on the top is a little off-putting as well as that price tag of 148 is kind of a little a little bit off putting. it might stay in stock i might look at that during the drop and just maybe decide whether or not i might go for it or if I've got too much for my personal, which I probably do, I don't need to spend more money this week. So yeah. And that's it, guys. That is it, guys. That is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Are you going for anything this week on Supreme? Let me know. Are you a Frazetta fan like I am? Are you going for anything? Are you a knee surgery guy and you want to get the knee surgery on Friday? Get the free foot grunge. It looks pretty cool. The price tag ain't too bad as well. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. And I'll see you guys on the live cop this Friday.